Hi, this is Alyssa. Sorry, Christina's out again. It seems she is busy doing her move. <laughs> Therefore, I will be your host again. With no further ado, let us get started. If you watch my basic 1 and in basic 2 video, you will definitely understand how all these layers has been created. But this time we will not focus on that. Instead, I will give you an additional information on how to have a perfect analog dial without using any other apps or graphic program. Notice this two layers I made. These layers were made as my guide while designing my number dials, because I need to rotate and position those numbers. Guides were made of shape layer. I just choose the type and render shape, and scale it according to my need. To check if your number dials are in right position, make those guide layers visible, then check your number dials. For example, this number 11, I can easily move to its right position. Once done editing, just turn off the guide layer. Now let me explain the numbers. Think that if you want to rotate a number, 5 minutes is equals to 30 degrees. For example, number 1 angle is 30 degrees, 2 is 60 degrees, 3 is 90 degrees. But if you will notice the angle of this number 4, it goes back to minus 60 degrees. That is because you rotate the number in counterclockwise to look downward. But if you want the number 4 facing upward like the number 1 and 2, the angle must be 120 degrees. Download the watch face to check the angle of other numbers. Link is in the video description. Let me show more example about this degrees. If I will make a guide manually, you will see my vertical line is in 0 degrees. I will rotate the duplicate layer to 30 degree, and it will goes to number 1. Rotate to 60 degrees goes to number 2, and so on and so forth. Thank you for watching and hope to see you again on my next video.